Have you noticed a trident at the base of a bottle as this one? This bottle has a number 1 and is made of polyethylene tephthalate, PET, widely used to make bottles for water, soft drinks and some packaging. The number ranges from 1 to 7 and each corresponds to a particular type of plastic. Annually about 300 million tons of plastic is produced including 60 million tons of PET and only 10% recycled. It may take anywhere from 5 years to 1000 years to decompose. So if I were to bury a secret in a bottle, it will possibly be unearthed by my great 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 grandchild. We are unknowingly consuming plastic through toxicity of plastic constituents and additives, microplastics entering the food chain, breathing tiny particles of fibers, pathogens and chemicals getting attached to plastic particles, and leaching of chemicals into the plastic containers. Long-term exposure of humans to plastics is building up potential health risks like hormonal imbalance, reproductive health issues, cancer, birth defects, immune system responses like inflammation and childhood development issues. Can you believe this inert stable material made of long polymer chains of carbon can be nibbled away by bacteria using process similar to our digestion? Biodegradation uses microorganisms to cleave open the carbon chain and use carbon as its source of energy. We all digest food using enzymes. Bacteria also uses enzymes to start breaking and consuming the carbon chain. The process which I studied has been done in Kyoto Institute of Technology and Kyoto University researchers from Japan. They collected 250 samples from plastic debris sites. A group of different microbes were growing on them. At the same time, there was carbon dioxide production and degradation on the surface. This meant that bacteria was using PET carbon to grow and get energy. And who was found as the hungry bacteria? Ideonella sakaiensis. The bacteria was incubated on a PET film. First, the bacteria released enzyme PET ease. Within 18 hours, pitting was observed on the surface and an intermediate product was formed as a result of the PET hydrolysis. In the second stage, the bacteria released another enzyme, met ease, which caused the degradation of an intermediate product to produce terephthalic acid and ethylene glycol. And voila! Here we have the starting substances for making PET. This finding is a significant advancement in the search for a sustainable recycling method for versatile product. As the process gets back on human materials, it's also true recycling. In the times to come, the finding has promised to be a big solution for a big problem. Thank you for watching.